Hello, I see you've come back for a bit more tutelage. So what are we going to be doing today? Today, I'm going to go through a couple things first that you need to be able to do. And then we'll go into the aerials. So first up, I want to start working on reverse stuff today. So I want you to be able to drive comfortably in reverse. Now this is probably going to be pretty difficult at first. Because it's all different, it's all inverted. Practice using drift as well. Just I really want you to try and become comfortable at driving in reverse because this is going to help you overall to be a better player and it's going to help you for reverse aerials which not a lot of people can actually do and to be able to do them well is actually a really big thing so once you got the hang of reverse I want you to practice just jumping up and boosting in reverse so at first is practice just getting up and doing it so you don't have to do anything fancy just get up do it sort of thing and then maybe start aiming it like we've been doing in the other episode so maybe you'd say you get on the get on the halfway line and then you aim to hit somewhere just work on uh, work on your control until you feel comfortable doing this so once you've got a hang of this going from backwards I want you to do the same thing but sort of forwards so how to do this is you're gonna have to use your air roll in the air which is your drift button unless you have rebound it so basically what you do is you go up and as you're boosting you turn your drift button around so that you turn around and do a 180 degrees basically so you're backwards so practice doing it both ways so that you can so that you can do it to the right and to the left because you don't want to only be able to go up one way say you need to be quick to get one direction or an angle so say say i need to be quick to get an angle here to do that from the right it's going to take longer because i have to get all the way over oh <laughs> we got the spin goal so this is just a bit of the basics of starting to do it and then this is how you start doing it in rookie so we'll start off with really easy stuff we'll just do it from reverse first um this may be harder for you first it may be easier it just depends you may find it easier to go up and go like this you may find it easier to go up like this whichever one is easier first probably start with that because you're just going to need to get comfortable hitting the ball backwards so if that's comfortable do that but if that's not comfortable or basically they both they might both feel uncomfortable whichever one's more comfortable just do either of these two because these two are going to start you you want to be able to do both at the end of the day but just work on getting these two completely down so then you can start doing it faster as well you can start doing backflips as you're driving in reverse and like working on just how quickly you can actually hit that ball from reverse it's all about improving your reverse control because not many people can actually fully aerial from reverse like jump up from reverse and do a full aerial but it's actually really strong in your game if you can do that so work on going from further away as well don't just jump from really close work on getting it further away so that you can fly backwards for further distances now flying backwards at first will feel really weird it's going to take you a while to get used to because all the controls are inverted so just really work on just being able to fly because that's the big one is actually being able to fly backwards is um it's not not the easiest thing overall so it may take you a bit of time there's there's a little bit of things i can go through which is just um you know how you can fly backwards so maybe you say you aim you can do the aim stuff and then maybe you might start off with instead of aiming for the side you might say i want to get right above the goal so just be just hit right there that could be your aim just to keep it simple at first and then you can build up and go for different spots so you can say you know that's my aim just really work on how well you can control it because that's all it's going to come down to how well can you control it if you're feeling like you're a confident little badger work on doing a double jump and doing this as well the smoother you can get this the better it will be as well so if you can actually do this if you can do a like that that's really really good that's um the level of smoothness you want to get is you just be able to go like that and go in reverse so this is going to take a while this is probably going to be the hard one um this one's not so bad once you start getting used to it and actually what i want you to start practicing once you start getting used to it, once you can do that in the goals is a similar thing to what we were doing before but you're hitting it with a backwards hit so this is a little bit different but i think it'll be really good for getting that getting that hit you need so these are these tend to work really well for certain things i've actually got some examples right here all right now that you've seen those examples just uh, we'll work on getting it in rookie training so I can show you a bit of how it works. 
So we'll go around. Oop, wrong way. We'll go up here. And we'll just use our flip to hit it in the goals. So it doesn't have to be pretty. You don't always have to hit it with your nose as you saw here. As long as the car's got momentum on the ball, it's generally not too bad. It's just all about getting that right momentum on the ball from the car. We'll do one more. Well, that wasn't... That was not... I did it a bit too far away, so I didn't quite have my flip yet. So we'll do that again, just to get a good one for you. There, I had my flip, did it a bit too... Um, I aimed it a bit too far up. So the ball went up off the crossbar. So you make sure you really get up over the ball and then you can come down over it and hit it down into the goals. This one's probably going to take you a while and there's one more thing I can show you off of doing this to practice if you really want to. But I think you've got enough for now, but if you feel really comfortable with all this stuff, work on doing this. So it's the same thing as last time where you do the flip early. But just controlling it backwards, this will help your backwards control overall and it will help your flip control. So it kind of helps two things in one. You Like the chance of you doing this in game is kind of low. But it's more about learning the control of your car than actually uh, learning it for in game. It's really about learning how this actually works. How does that work with your car? What does it make your car do? Can you go all the way sideways and still hit the ball? That's the question. Um, but basically just work on your car control, that'll help you the most. So I'll go over what we want to learn by the end of today in uh, these next couple shots here. So first one we've got is to do this, turn around, and just do a standard backwards aerial. Once you have these down pat, we want to work on having a backflip with a flip in the middle of it basically, so a reverse hit with a flip, but it goes in the goals. So these are actually kind of hard uh, to aim properly because you have to get your you have to get your nose in a different sort of spot to what you do forwards. It's a lot different to control it. It can be very difficult depending on where the ball is too. So I kind of struggled with this one. It's a bit further away from the goals, not quite giving me as much as a run up. I could go further away, but I just want to try to get it from here. Basically, the faster you're going, it tends to be the easier it is to hit a good reverse hit, but it's harder when you're going faster. But if you can work on getting faster as well, that's not going to be a bad thing if you can, you know, go a lot faster than the average person in reverse. But, so this is number two, work on learning this. Oh wait, no, this is number three. So we got the standard, standard reverse, we got the turnaround, and we got the flip. And then if you're feeling... Feeling energetic, you can work on doing flips backwards. But this is all for today. It's all focused on getting you going backwards, and then we'll be getting into some pro aerial training next, I think. But anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day, and see you next time.